Hello Cancer and welcome to Soul Sundays. Cancer, it's a quick three card spread, three cards from the tarot for you, uh, one card for your romantic energies for the week ahead, one for your health and one for your wealth. Now my loves, I'm going to get straight into it because there's a lot to talk about as we have a new moon in your sign starting tomorrow the 20th of July. So let's get started. Universe and angels, messages and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of cancer. Please show me what they need to hear and what they want to hear for their week ahead. Thank you, Spirit. Can I please have three cards? What are the most important messages for cancer this week? Week beginning the 19th of July, 2020. Please show me what do they need to hear? What do they need to know? How are you doing, my turtle doves? Happy birthday for the last of you that have the tiny little bit of your birthday. We are moving into Leo season this week for all my cusp babies. Happy birthday. It's an interesting cusp always with the Cancer and the Leo mix because you're one part sensitive, one part raw. I only want one. Thank you. Okay. Nice energy. Uh, sixes are really big for you at the moment. Sixes can speak about uh, past life energy can speak about um, some lessons that are coming through for you it's all about your career and your mental thought um, what's interesting is that this um, new moon that's coming through for you in your sign on the 20th so that's tomorrow Monday the 20th of July is highlighting the area for you about new beginnings so it's new opportunities but it's new opportunities and something that you greatly desire something you've wanted to do to achieve to bring about into the world something you've been thinking about for quite some time um, I really like this new moon I didn't a lot of people always ask and I've got friends going do I put my crystals out to cleanse them do I do this I haven't liked the last energy it's not the best energy to charge your crystals or to do any free text journal writing when we're in eclipse season because the energy is not clear it's all about going back redoing and there still are quite a lot of planets that are retrograde even though mercury is now going direct and we're coming out of that energy um, however this new moon for you is a it's a really positive new moon it's a turning point for you and the reason why i say that is because we've just come out of um where was it just come out of um the Cancer Capricorn eclipses, um, the North Node has been in your sign. It's been very intense energy. You would have all felt it differently depending on um, your own astrology chart. But we're coming out of that now. It's been two and a half years of effort and energy and you'll find the shift coming through. For you, again, it's about some sort of opportunity you've had, something that you've had in, in your mind, like a, a long-term goal, something you've wanted to achieve. Um, it's now coming to light and you've got the go-ahead. I don't know what that means in terms of career, whether that's love, whether that's starting a family, whether it's commitment, um, whether it's leaving a commitment, but there is something that you've had a goal on for quite a long time and the energy right now of this new moon is saying it's full speed ahead. So let's get into your reading. Beautiful, beautiful energy. We have the Six of Wands coupled with the Six of Swords. Wow. Um, so this is, if I could um, put a, a description to this, this would be, ain't nothing going to break my stride. I am coming through. Um, this is being empowered, being uh, focused and having a very clear goal about where you want to go. For some of you, the butterfly represents transformation. Um, leaving the past behind and all of the challenges that you felt and coming out renewed okay um, to have this combination of two sixes together is quite powerful if you want to know the meaning of six go look it up from numer numerology point of view but six of swords is mentally moving on from from a dark time and you can literally see the rising up to this beautiful rainbow this new beginning and the six of wands is exactly the same but this is more success it's um, being successful in whatever it is that you want to do from a career perspective whatever it is that you want to create um, as I said this is the opportune time for you if you've had an idea or you've wanted to get something off the ground maybe you've wanted to start your own YouTube channel maybe you're wanting to write a book maybe you've thought for a long time I'm going to go back and study because I've always been interested in floristry and I want to learn about how to put flowers together whether you choose to do that as a career or not is irrelevant maybe you want to start gardening and you're really into that whatever it is for you whatever this long-term goal has been at the back of your mind that you've thought about it every New Year's and went this year's going to be the year that I'm going to do it this is the time okay the time is now the time is now to do that because you're ready 
this all speaks about vibration, right? It speaks about the law of attraction and vibration. And right now you're vibing high. You should be feeling happy within yourself and quite empowered. And if you're not, I would dare say, have a look at your moon and rising sign to have a look at the other energies that are affecting you. But right now for cancer, the energy is beautiful. What makes this even more special is that the other card to confirm this is the Eight of Pentacles. This speaks about financial success. It's someone that has mastered a certain skill set where you've become either quite creative or very good at what you do. Now, some of you in your day jobs, it may be that you're good at what you do, but you don't have the passion for it. And this is the nudge to go, just go for the bloody passion, like do it. Like I'm pushing your ass out the door, do it already. You know, trust within yourself because you've learned all the skills that you need. There's never gonna be a better time, okay? Go for it, go for it, Cancer. Absolutely beautiful. For others of you, I see recovery after addiction. This could be going into your sixth year of recovery after addictions, of certain addictions, um, and feeling lighter and more free than ever before. And if that is for you and that is your personal story, then congratulations. I commend you on having the inner strength and the perseverance to see that through. Your love message this week is forgiving and learning. It says, as you release and heal your past, you experience more love in your present moments. Um, you can see I've had these cards for quite some time. They're very worn. And this has been a card that I've pulled for many people, myself included. This is a card of actually forgiving and learning your past, um, learning from the mistakes and understanding that if you didn't go through them, they wouldn't make you who you are. If you hadn't have had that challenge or that argument with your spouse or partner or divorce with that spouse or partner, or, you know, broke up with that boyfriend that broke your heart and chose the other girl, you wouldn't come out as the woman or man that you are today. Okay. Part of all of who you are is your past, your past choices. And if you still beat yourself up and still think, gosh, I wish I hadn't have done that or wish I hadn't have said that or why did I do that thing when I was drunk or when I was high or why did I um, not take that opportunity, that job opportunity? Why didn't I launch that business when I was 10 years younger? That's not serving you, okay? Because you can't change it, right? We're all human, we all make mistakes. And when you actually forgive and you um, learn from the mistakes and you move forward, that's the best thing. That's the whole point of this experience. It's never going to be all rainbows and lollipops, even though right now that's how it looks for you. Um, but you're only holding yourself back if you keep staying in that negative thought. So your invitation this week is to really catch yourself if any of that um, negative self-talk comes up and just say, is that really right for me anymore? Or is it time to forgive and let go? Health-wise, oh, holy shit, um, sobriety. So... You know, I was getting that message for some of you. You've been clean, you've been sober for a long time. This is that message to continue going on. For others of you, if you um, don't have an addiction, but you've noticed that you've been indulging a little bit too much lately, again, no judgment from me, right? Um, this is the card to say, maybe this is the week that you pull back and decide to go um, dry for a little bit. I know we're partway through July, so if people go, oh, I've missed the beginning of dry July and whatever else, you don't need a month or a specific day to do it. You just need a decision within yourself where you go, you know what, I'm just not gonna drink for a little bit. Or if you are taking uh, drugs or maybe you're a big pot smoker or something like that, um, the message this week is to just give yourself a bit of space and just take a break, okay? Finally, um, your money, your wealth creation message is all around, I can pivot under any and all conditions. Ooh, yes, you can. And the card says, you have the ability to pivot under any and all conditions, but most of all, you are habitual in nature and your patterns are so well entrenched that at times the fastest path to the joy you seek is for you to take your pivot as you sleep. By reaching for good feeling thoughts before you go to sleep and then experiencing the benefit of the quiet mind that occurs while you sleep, and then upon wakening, immediately turning to good feeling thoughts, you can accomplish the ultimate pivoting experience. Beautiful. So for some of you, I'm getting um, uh, the drinking means that you don't sleep or the drug taking means that you don't sleep so well and that's affecting your mentality and your mood. This is talking to you about um, evening and morning routine and giving gratitude. Um, so at night, if you can give three things that you're grateful for before you fall asleep, it doesn't matter if you give three, the three same things every night. It could just be the warm bed that you're in, um, the heater. It could be, um, the kiss that you had from your son or daughter during that day or the hug. It could be, you know, the great sex you had with your partner. I don't know, whatever it is for you, the new hair that you got done, that handbag that you brought, um, the new Kelly Clarkson song, whatever. I don't know why I said Kelly Clarkson. 
don't judge my music taste. I have varied music tastes, but do you know what I mean? Like I'm telling you, whatever it is for you, um, give gratitude. Just three things before you fall asleep. Just in your, you close your eyes and be like, yeah, I've got a great life and I'm really grateful for my cat Simba, my YouTube channel um, and the wealth that I've created for myself. That's all you need to do. Then in the morning, if you can meditate upon waking for 10 minutes, your brain is at its most purest state and it will help you set up the day to come. I kid you not, you will feel 10 times better. And you know if this is something that you need to change within yourself, Kansas. I know the people watching this, I'm connecting to your energy. This is your invitation to do it. But you know what, I've got to be honest, Congratulations for those that have been sober, that have gone through it, that are in their sixth year. Maybe it's your sixth month. Maybe you're coming up to your eighth year. Maybe it's your fifth year, whatever it is. It's around that for those, that energy that I'm connecting to, I'm proud of you. And even if it's only one day, and even if it's just the beginning of it for you, keep going, okay? And for others of you, whatever this brilliant idea is that you've had or this goal or whatever it is that f fulfills you personally, now is the time to take that leap of faith, okay? Because you will be rewarded. All right, my loves, deep reading. I hope you found it helpful and I'll be back with you next week. Take care.